everyone, it's Chris and I welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, guys, we have the new update here in Club Roblox, which is the new huge family NPC job update. So this is going to be a new way that you guys can interact with your NPCs and they actually have a little bit more purpose for your games and role plays as well. They're actually going to be able to level up with skills and earn money. So let's go ahead and check all of this out and I'll explain everything to you guys and how to use this. So of course, before we get started, as always, make sure that you guys are subscribed with notifications on and let's go ahead and just get started. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. It helps support me and my channel. Okay guys, so everything that you need to know is right here and I'm gonna do a bit of a walkthrough to show you how this works. So we have the new interact with your family to see their info. So you're gonna be able to now interact, have their pick up clothes and become. You now have an option to choose their job and how much they earn per hour. You can view everything here. You can also check out their health with their hunger, thirst, exhaustion and boredom. And you can also feed them and give them drinks from here as well. You can also choose to send them to work and of course, check out their skills. So each different emoji tells you which of the skills that it is. So this one is going to be fitness. We have social creativity, intelligence, and organization. Over here on the stage, you can actually see which of these interactable items will work for your skills. So these are gonna be things that you can place over in your homes so that your NPC family members can work on them. So creativity is this little workbench. Intelligence is the telescope. Fitness is going to be over here. Social is going to be the letters. Organization is going to be the gift wrapping. So we also have 12 new job roles that we get to choose from. So for an example, if we click on our grandmother, we can now have the pick up clothes and become options. We can now choose a job. We are unemployed and it tells you how many dollars per hour that we earn. You can also still feed and give them water. It tells you how exhausted they are and bored. And it does tell you their skills and what we've worked on and what we still need to work on. So we have already went ahead and leveled up to a level one organization. You can also send to work once you have a job. So let's go over first and choose a job. I have started working on one. We do already have this skill right here. So here are all of the different jobs that you can choose from. So we have firefighter and hairdresser. Those are $5 per hour. And this is the one that I'm actually gonna start my grandmother with because we do only need this skill right here. And it goes all the way down to a lawyer for $22 an hour. This one, however, you are gonna need to work and get more skills to start at more pay. So let's go ahead and actually apply. And we now have our new job as a hairdresser. And right now we are starting as a sweeper at $5 an hour. So we can actually go over and click view and there are more information about this. So we're starting at $5 per hour. So next we're gonna need to level up our skills so that we can make it to a level two to earn more money and it's going to go all the way up to $49 per hour. And we go from a sweeper to a secretary assistant, stylist, and then we're also gonna go to a style designer, popular stylist, manager, and a famous stylist. So lots of different ways that we can level up and earn more money. So yeah, we have a new job for her. Okay, so I actually want to start becoming a detective for our grandfather. So we're going to go back home and I've actually set up a little skill working room over here with all of the items. If you guys want to place them in, click over to insert and there is a new section where we have the five skill items that you can add. So I'm going to actually have my grandfather come over and continue working on his skills so that we can actually work on um, getting him a job. So next let's go over and where's my grandmother? I'm actually going to send her to work. Okay. You need to stop working. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So now we can actually send her to work. Your Robloxium is not ready for work. Oh, do we need to maybe give some water? Okay. Let's give some water. We should probably also She's exhausted, so I guess we could go up and put her to bed. Maybe that's, yeah, she's tired. Okay, so she's going to be sleeping. Oh, sleep, not me, you. There we go, oh yeah, she's exhausted. 
So we're gonna work on exhaustion and then we also need to work on boredom and then we are gonna be able to send her to work. All right, you guys, so there is everything for the new NPC new jobs update where we have two new jobs that you can have your family members do and there are different ways that you can level up, work on your skills, and also you can get them promotions. This is going to be super good for role playing. Maybe if you wanna be the child and you wanna have your mom and dad have different jobs, if you have elders or other people in your homes, this is going to be a lot of fun to do. And it gives us something new to work on in our household. So of course, if you guys wanna see more Club Roblox, as always, make sure that you guys are subscribed. You have those notifications on and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.